Brazen shoplifters wreaking havoc on retailers. They're cleaning out shelves in broad daylight, and the stores seem pretty much helpless to stop it. Health and beauty retailers seem to be a popular target, and it's a big reason why you're seeing more and more products under lock and key. Sharon Crowley takes a closer look at what's behind the surge in shoplifting. This is right, eight guys. Latina Brown took this cell phone video inside the drugstore near her home in the Bronx. What she saw, or rather what she didn't see on these empty shelves, shocked her, and now she wants something done about it. I was told that, you know, people are coming in, they're stealing, they're looting things out of the store, and that they cannot touch them. The NYPD says shoplifting from January to September in 2021 is up about 6,000 cases compared to all of last year. Brown, who's running for city council in District 17, fears this wave of petty crime will drive more major chain stores out of the Bronx. This is a major pharmacy, Rite Aid, that caters to a lot of families who have underlying health issues. If we lose this pharmacy, we're going to be left out in the open to dry. The surge in shoplifting happening in New York and in cities across the country. Here you see thieves help themselves to products at an Ulta beauty store in Calabasas, California. Walgreens in San Francisco announcing it's planning to close five more stores because of shoplifting. Here you can see a group of bold young thieves in San Francisco running out the door, arms filled with stolen merchandise. One of the things is the unemployment rate is going up in the wake of the pandemic. Secondly, we have a lot of cases of mental illness that are not being treated. Darren Porcher is a retired NYPD lieutenant. I think that the security in a lot of these retail establishments should be ramped up. And the surge of shoplifting has caused some stores to respond by locking up some of the everything from aspirin and toothpaste to ice cream now is behind lock and key. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.